race number 17, the Virgin Australia Supercars Championship, Watpack Townsville 400, with the threat of rain right at the start, but we did have cloud cover. And I think some cars fared better in those conditions than others, but it was a nice start for David Reynolds. Great pace, though, from McLaughlin, but really nowhere to go in that margin to Reynolds and Mostert on the outside, completely diminished. There's a wild moment looking from Jack LeBrock's car, camera mounted on the front, punching straight into the back of the Walkinshaw Andretti United car. We saw some really cool shots from the chopper today to witness some fantastic exchanges across the top of these curbs. That's David Reynolds in the Penrite car, who had a very quick vehicle in the first phase of the motor race, but it just didn't go his way as the day progressed. That was a wild moment where Cam Waters got into the back of Jamie Wincup, who got into the back of Andre Heimgartner. Now, there were no penalties levied as a result of that one. Everybody survived to tell the tale. That could have ended up with three cars in the fence at incredibly high speed. This was a great play strategically by everybody, the Red Bull Holden Racing Team, because Wincup took himself out of all the madness that was going on, got clear air, got the undercut benefit, and really set the tone for the afternoon for him. Chas Mostert had a big moment here with Will Davison through Turn 10. And again, just like that other moment that we talked about in the run of Turn 2, that could have ended up with cars in the fence. Fortunately, it didn't. And those two are going to have a little chat at the end of today's proceedings. So we salivated at the prospect of the battle between, uh, beg your pardon, between McLaughlin and Wincup. But the trouble for Jamie Wincup was that Scotty McLaughlin had three quarters of a second in hand. And Jamie knows that from the race seat what it's like to have somebody pressuring him. He's got good pace, and so he left plenty of space for him at the final corner, and he was able to glide by and then disappear off into the distance. When they got to that chequered flag, that margin was 4.7 seconds. So there was some great combat hand-to-hand, -hand, but McLaughlin prevailed out the other side. He sticks another 150 points in the bank, and we get to do it all again tomorrow.